Hi, this is Tim at Riviera Village Music. Uh, today's lesson, we're going to be working on a Pat Metheny ballad titled The Last Train Home. Uh, there's a few odd chords in it. I'll walk you through them in just a moment. So kick back, relax, and enjoy. So the first phrase of this tune, opening up, is um, it's in the key of A. So an A chord starts it out. A5, open on the A string, 2-2 two, two on the D and G. Slide from 6 to 4 on the G, grab open 4 on the D, 6 on the G. That was 5 to 4 to 2 on the G. That's a G chord, uh, 3 open. Four, three, open four. I'm not playing the A string. Two, two, four. Melody note being two on the G string. Open A, second on the D, and melody note obviously second on the G. Second phrase opens up with a couple lead in notes. Second fret G, second fret B, leading to a C sharp minor, which is fourth fret A, fourth fret G, fifth fret B. Next chord is one of the ones I use my thumb on. I don't know if this is normal. I guess you wouldn't be doing this on a gut string or a classical guitar. But it's uh, put my thumb on uh, two on the second fret, and then uh, fourth fret of the D string, second fret of the G string. That's uh, F sharp minor. Two, four on the G, open D and two on the G. D chord there, 4 on the D, open 2-2 two, two on the D and uh, A strings. The third phrase starts with the F sharp minor again. It's uh, and I use thumb uh, four four with the third and fourth fingers on the next string. Mm -hmm. Melody note moving to two on the G string. Mm -hmm. uh, the next chord is a C sharp, and I played it C sharp seven over what? What is this? G sharp. Uh, fourth fret on the E. 3rd fret on the D, and then your melody note being 4th fret on the G. That was 4, 2, and it's actually F sharp minor, 2 on the uh, G, moving to 2 up here. Next chord is D major, D major 7, uh, 5, 7, 6, 7. Next phrase, leaving the D major 7, starts with a C sharp minor. I grab that uh, fourth fret of the E string first before moving the melody note to the fifth fret of the B. Next melody note is on the sixth fret of the G. Moving to F sharp minor again with the thumb. Two, four on the D, two on the um, G. So. Slide. 
slide up from five to seven with pinky. C sharp minor again. E note on top. Fourth, um, sixth fret of the G string to F sharp minor here. This is uh, four, six, five, five. The next phrase starts with uh, pinky on the 7th fret of the B string, moving to a D6-9 chord. Uh, this next bit I, um, is a little unorthodox, I don't, it just happened to be the way I did it. I did 6th uh, fret with my, uh, on the D and G with my pinky. I suppose you could figure another, probably more practical way for doing that, figure out another way. Uh, if you do, great. <laughs> So that, that was um, 4 and 5. I'm playing the root down here on the 5th fret of the A string. Moving over to 6-6 six, six on the D and G respectively. Um, next it's uh, 6 and 7 on the G and B. Open E and uh, 4 on the G, 5 on the B. To your sixes on the D and the G down to the A chord at the second fret. Mm -hmm. And I just pluck the middle two, hit the bass note, then pluck the upper two. I think I do that with my second finger though. The reason being is the next chord is an E chord and it's um, second, second fret, first fret open on the D, G, and B. So Same thing goes, it's the same thing on top, except you got to hold an F sharp in the bass, the second fret of the E string, for the next chord. So I think I switched to my third finger. Ending with an A5 chord. That's my arrangement of the chord melody for Last Train Home. Um, I've seen a video or two of him where he actually takes it quite a bit more out than that. That's pretty pretty much by the book. So it's got a lot of room for wiggling in the harmony. Uh, so have fun with it. Experiment. Try different chords. And uh, remember, relax and play on. <laughs>